I'm sure by now you've all heard about the shooting in Nashville where a transgender had um, shot six people, three kids, three, three adults, killing them all. Um, and just that act alone, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's sickening. But I think one thing that has rubbed me even worse than that is our news and our media outlets around this country. I want to talk to you about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. After this happened and everybody put in the news who the killer was, who the shooter was, they had supposedly misgendered this person who is in transition, I guess, from one gender to the other. So that all of a sudden is a big story and how hateful they can do they can be to this person. And it comes out to the fact that somebody had said the wrong pronoun, I guess, and that they carried that through. And this has upset everybody that um, they felt that the entire trans community um, felt that she was being cruelly misgendered or if he was or she, I don't know, they're being truly misgendered. Um, and, uh, and that made the news. So they felt sorry for this person and they wanted to have a moment of silence, which they did on air. They had a moment of silence for the shooter, the one that killed six people. I, I have no words. It just blows me away. And then they feel that, um, that they're in fear for their lives, that they're going to be misgendered next. I mean, I, I don't know what this world's coming to. And they think that this amounts to a terrorist act. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, it was a hate crime. This person went in and killed six people. It was a hate crime. I, over in Isaiah 5, 20 through 21, the Bible tells us, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe to those who are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own right. And then, if that isn't what's happening today, Second um, Timothy 3, 1 through 5, we've said it many times, and I know you've read it, but it says, but mark this, this will be terrible times in the last days. And it goes on about people being lovers of themselves and having all the right answers, think they're little gods. And it's, it's exactly where we're at. I just... Uh, I, 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 you know, I'm flummoxed. I just like, I don't know what to say because when I read this and I saw it, I just can't believe that it's happening and it's happening in America today, but it's happening in our world. But it's just as the Bible says, I guess it's nothing to really be surprised about because it's all there. I just read it to you. It's there what it says, you know, good shall be bad, bad shall be good. And this is how people are going to see it. But one good thing is that our redemption draweth nigh, that the Lord is on our side. He has our back. We are going to spend eternity with him. He's going to take us out of this place, just like he, he took Noah away from everything that was going on and destroyed everything around him. Uh, he's going to take us out of this place, too, and we're going to be with him forever. Uh, thank you for listening to me this morning. I had no words. I mean, I'm trying to figure out how, how to how to process this, but God bless everyone. Look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.